That was some funny stuff, coach. <laughs> like a little comedian up here. I withheld this information at the beginning because uh, I was trying to be biased by me being the MC. Uh, I didn't wear my gray suit and my maroon tie. Um, so I tried to, you know, do a little something for Prairie View. But I'm a Texas Southern University grad and professor. Yeah, they educated me and then gave me a job, hallelujah. <laughs> But I, <laughs> here it is, though. No, but I'll definitely, uh, next we'll hear from Coach of Texas Southern University. Put your hands together for Mr. Darren Asbury. It's a hard act to follow right there. <laughs> I tell you, uh, to Dr. McCullough and, and Dr. Uh, Rudley, uh, good evening. Good morning, I'm sorry. First of all, I'd like to say, it, it, it's that I'm happy. Let me say that. I'm happy. Um, I've always been asked the question, Coach, how you feel? Uh, this time last year, um, I think the only time I was happy was when my uh, Dr. Dr. McCullough, let me get this out of the way. Guys, if you hear me say Jared Jones, you know I'm talking about Dr. Ray. <laughs> uh, I'm Dr. McCullough. So I have the big boss, and then I have Jared Jones. Jerry Jones controls everything. <laughs> so if you hear me say Jerry Jones, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, this time last year, I think it was around December the 27th, uh, when Jerry Jones announced me as his football coach. I was happy. Then after that, you know, I, I wasn't really, wasn't really happy. Now, this time around, we have everything behind us. Sanctions. We know the direction we're headed. My great compliance team, my compliance team, and my academic advisors, please stand. Let me show you something, Coach. <laughs> but my academic advisors and my and my, and my, my great office manager, y'all, please stand. Please stand for one time. Say that support, Coach. <laughs> I also have my staff with me. Those guys are. You know, they're a tremendous staff. I told them the other night that, hey, I sleep good at night now. The only problem I've been having with my sleep is, is I get up in the middle of the night and I hear a little noise, and I check on my son, I peek in his room, he's knocked out, he's snoring. And then I said, well, let me walk up to the front of the house, and uh, I see this, this GMC truck sitting out in front of my house in the middle of the night. And I'm saying, I know he's supposed to be home. <laughs> this is what I did him last year. <laughs> I know Ms. Norton, when his phone was ringing at 3 o'clock in the morning, it was me calling him harassing. Um, you know, Coach and I go way back. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's just a great feeling for us to, to watch each other grow as young men, and as youngsters, and then to matriculate up and, and, and see each other now with two head coaches. Um, we talk often on the phone, but we never talk about this game. Now, now that the game is here, it's, it's, you know, we knew it was coming. We knew it, 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 it had to happen. And, and one thing I can say to, to, uh, to Coach Northern and, and, and Ashton that this war has to happen. We can't stop. I was watching the news. President Obama has submarines waiting to go over into Syria. I called the president. I said, well, President, before you launch your war, you're going to launch ours on Saturday on the 31st. And then after, you, after we do that, depending on the outcome, we, we, want, we want to hit everything moving on across the field. And, and, and Coach Northern, one thing I do respect, his team is going to be ready to play. And I told my guys, if, if you think that he's going to bring a team in here half cop, it ain't going to happen. And we, we know that the tradition of this, this game, my alumni have stated to me very clearly, Coach Norton, very clearly, what's, what's at stake. I said, Coach Asbury, your son liked the cheeseburgers at the school, the Happy Meals, you better win this game. <laughs> Jerry Jones told me you, you like the Cadillac truck you ride in, <laughs> and suit you win, you better win this game. So, Coach, no, no, no offense, Coach. I've been giving strict orders. <laughs> one thing about Coach Asbury, I do understand orders. 
Terry Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> Especially coming from Terry Thomas. <laughs> I respect those artists. Uh, this will be a, a game that we cannot wait to fill this stadium up. Uh, Doc and I were talking, you know, about last year's season. Uh, we had a lot of things, everything went wrong for us. But we have a great recruiting class. Um, the kids have been very positive. Nobody complaining. Uh, practice fields have been in great shape to practice on the coach. Um, you know, even got my field painted. Put PV in the middle of it. Down there with Coach Vite by that goal line, got that PV right there. So that's where Coach Vite know they can't cross that part. So, so we, we, we've been very excited about this. Uh, it's going to be a, a great football game. I um, hired a new defense coordinator, Coach Mike Vite. He and his staff, Coach David Geralds, Cedric Thornton uh, from Alabama State, former line defensive coordinator and linebacker coach here. Uh, coach T.C. Taylor, my receiver coach. Lewis Tillman, uh, running backs, Gino Simone, quarterbacks. Have so many quarterbacks, I hired two quarterback coaches. <laughs> Raymond Pratt is my quarterback coach as well. Uh, and my assistant head coach, associate head coach, Carl Roberts. Uh, and Greg Johnson, my defensive back coach. Uh, did I miss anybody? Now, back on the game, Coach. Coach, 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 my homeboy. Now, you know, one of us ain't going to be able to go back to Glen Oak, Coach. I'm one up on you, Coach. My plan is to go two up on you, Coach. I love y'all, Miss Norton. He told my son he was going to take him fishing after the 31st. So I told my son, I said, son, I said, now, when we go out there fishing, I'm going to put this life jacket on, you put this one on. <laughs> he said, why, Daddy, we're going to be on the bank. I said, we beat prayer if we go naughty, we're going to make some of that water. <laughs> so, so it's going to be very exciting. Um, I'm happy, I'm thankful, and it's been a blessing. For those that don't know, I lost my mentor about three weeks ago. Great guy, Coach Robert Hughes. Uh, and our season, you know, you know, it's dedicated to Coach Hughes. You know, he's a man that, that guided us and made some things happen in life for me, uh, personal things, and on and off the football field. And, and, and what a, what a great way to start the season off by a big classic like this. Uh, and I'm like, Coach, if you haven't got your tickets, please come out and get your tickets. Uh, this is going to be an exciting moment for both both families, both teams, uh, and 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 a chance to, to bring our, our first big, big competition right here at our stadium. Our kids are excited. These kids are, are ready to go to work. Uh, I don't know about coach guys, but you know we had to stop our ones from going against each other. It just got that physical, so that's a good sign. Uh, so I was told yesterday, uh, we took the team to church, and I was told yesterday that the Prayer View would be coming back on the 31st to celebrate they're, they're victory. Now, this is what I was told. You know how you say that what they say? <laughs> I was told, they said, Coach Asbury, nice to meet you. I said, yes, ma'am. I said, Coach Northern called and set up an appointment, said he was going to bring the team by to celebrate their victory. I said, oh, he did. I said, no, I just talked to Coach. That ain't what he told me. <laughs> so I was going to let Coach Northern know. You know, I posted that, but I, but I did, Coach. I, I took some words off of off a script you had said on your on your uh, website, but I added my own words <laughs> and I posted it up on the billboard. I said, now y'all see what Coach Nard is saying about y'all. <laughs> so thank you all for coming. Uh, please get your tickets. Come out and support us. Uh, it's going to be a great matchup. I can't wait. Uh, the last thing I'd like to say is I called Mr. Bush and got on him this morning about a 2D depth chart. Then we were in an offensive meeting, and I called Coach Northern. He didn't answer his phone, so I left him a message. And he sent me a, a depth chart of some guys. I said, nah, this size ain't adding up. He sent me a, a right guard, 6 feet, 210 pounds. And you know that ain't, that ain't, that ain't right, Coach. I ain't going to buy for that. I ain't going to fall for that, Coach. So he's up to his old tricks and his old ways. And one thing I can say to my Texas Southern family, we will be ready for, at all costs. We'll lay it on the line, and we know it's at stake. Thank you.